This photo started my next harebrained adventure in Peru 2021. The idea that there were possibly giant fossilized clams somewhere high in the Andes Mountains was intriguing enough, but the fact that no one had verified it or had any additional photos or information sent my curiosity level over the edge. Were they really clams? Were they still there? Could I find them? I had to find out. The only problem was, well, actually I had two problems. I only had one article from 2001 written in Spanish, which said they were somewhere between Pampas and Colcabambas, which basically meant they could be just about anywhere. <laughs> the other problem was how to get somebody to drive me from Ayacucho to Hauja. It wasn't until I was way up in Talara hunting for the largest low sequence in the world that I actually found somebody that would be able to drive me. But that adventure is in another video. So early in the morning on May 25th, we set off before dark. The first couple hours went well. It was a beautiful drive and I was glad I took some screenshots because I knew we were gonna get into some really remote areas where there might not be cell service. It was a really good thing I did because we missed our turn at Mayak and we would have completely missed finding these things because we would have been on an entirely different road. But if I had known how dangerous the roads were about to get and that I was gonna be the coldest I'd ever been in my entire life, I might have, you know, been happier of missing that turn. You'd come around curves and you just felt like you were gonna skid right off the edge. The road seemed muddy and, I mean, don't get me wrong, it was beautiful. I loved the geology of the area and it was just so pretty. But you'd come around curves and sometimes there would be people there in your lane but at least for a while, it was beautiful. Pretty soon we left behind the pretty scenery, the white turkeys and interesting things like people shepherding sheep alongside the road. I even saw a woman at that altitude washing her clothes in a ditch alongside the road. Be grateful for any blessing you have. But as we went up over the 10,000 and then 15,000 foot height, it got colder. Like I said, I have never been this cold in my entire life. Because of COVID, the taxi drivers were supposed to have a window open. So we're driving along at 15,000 plus feet and it is freezing out. And some of the time you couldn't even see off the edge of the road, which was maybe better that I couldn't see how far down it was. But after a couple hours, we finally started coming down the other side and we were able to ask some really nice people along the way, you know, for directions or information or anything they could possibly tell us. But consistently they said the same thing. Oh, media aura, media aura, or, you know, a half hour. Or they would say that they were all taken and used as lawn ornaments uh, by the local people and that they weren't there anymore. So I was losing hope that we were ever gonna find these. We are in the middle of nowhere trying to find people so we can ask them where these rocks are. We were slowly making our way between Colcabamba and Pampas, but the problem was there was little turnoffs in the tiny little villages and I mean, it could they could be anywhere. And at this point, I'm really kind of thinking this is it, last spot. This is the next spot we're gonna try down in the valley here, Bamba Marca. Uh, un kilometro más o menos. Yeah. Ahí hay un, este, un, a la entrada. Pero ya no hay esas piedras, ¿ah? Todas se las han llevado. ¿Así? ¿Ah, habían, sí. Yeah. Piedras yeah. redondas habían, grandes. This guy finally really seemed to know what he was talking about. The only problem was he just said they're all gone. <laughs> I'm like, okay, all right, that's it. We're, we're basically done. I'm enjoying this, the countryside and the quinoa and the pretty views. But at this pivotal moment, I think this adventure is over. And this is what I said to myself. I'm bit up, burnt, tired, and cold. And um, a little frustrated. I don't think we're gonna find them. Everybody keeps saying media aura. Several of them said that they were divided up and people took them to decorate their houses. Um, it said it was a small village between um, uh, Pampas y Colcabambas, and now we're past Pampas, so I don't think that we're going to find them. Literally at that moment, we found them. I cannot even believe that we found this. Middle of nowhere, alongside the highway. I don't know if these are clamshells or if these are just concretions or what. Um, but this is definitely what, I mean, it looks like what that guy had in that article. Okay, so let's try to evaluate all this. 
If you use Google Translate, the article actually said a few meters from the highway that connects the towns of Pampas and Colcabambas. So maybe that didn't mean that it was actually between those towns. So this could be the site. It's similar, but here's the cons. Um, there's not 500 of them, but then again, you know, some of them were taken for lawn ornaments. And if you actually go by what they said, the one guy said all of them were taken, all but like just a few. So either there's more that has been found or this is a different location. But let's just assume this is the place that the Peruvian paleontologist Arturo Vildozola Cuba actually was referring to. You know, it does look like it. It's a few meters from the highway. And, you know, he said that they're 3.5 meters in circumference. At least some of them were. So they look about the right size. The article also said that they were 300 kilograms, which is 661 pounds. I have no way to, you know, verify that, but again, you know, looking at them closely from an untrained eye, I don't know. They don't look like, you know, clamshells to me because they're not all like standard clamshell shape, <laughs> if that makes sense. There's double ones, there's I mean, I, I understand why somebody would think this, and I certainly do not want to contradict a paleontologist, but either these aren't the ones he was referring to, or they're just, to an untrained eye, um, a little bit odd looking to be all clamshells. So this is something that, you know, all of you geologists, paleontologists, I don't know, you can all weigh in on it and, and decide what you think on it. It's a mystery that's gonna have to be you know, evaluated either in person or maybe you, some of you can see clearly enough from the side views and stuff to determine whether they're just concretions. I did see more of them sticking out of the bank nearby. When you sweep along here, you do see these sticking out of the wall. Again, like I saw in Talara. And I think that, you know, they found these as they were making the highway. But let me show you a couple of measurements so you can at least get an idea of what I was seeing. So I guess the average one is about three feet. I've got that set across three of them so you can see some perspective. Honestly, I do not have any idea what these things are. This is not the most ideal way to measure this biggest one, but if I hold it out straight to the edge, maybe 68 inches and um, let's see if I can, how tall this is. About 32 inches. Okay, final thoughts. So I still don't have any idea whether these are actually clamshells, but I'm gonna count this as a success because I had a blast. Even though it was cold and even though it was difficult, this mystery has bugged me for years. I wanted to at least see these things and get footage so that the rest of you could make a decision and see if you could clarify this. So please pass this on to any paleontologists and geologists that you know and, you know, get them to comment below. I'd love to get your answers on this. And then join us again next time for more adventures with the Lost World Museum.